Hi everyone, Easton Ward here, reporting in from home. Footy's back, June 11, how good, how exciting. Um, I really missed it since it's been away, so I thought it'd be a great chance to answer a few questions today about why I love the game. What a great opportunity to reflect on what we love about it, uh, what we've missed about it, rather than focusing on the odds. So I'll answer a few of these questions and uh, have a crack, so here we go. What do you think will be the best thing about sport resuming? Well, aside from just the joy of being able to, to play uh, again, I think the, um, the sense of normality, having things back to uh, something similar to what we, what we knew before, that'll be certainly reassuring and um, it'll be great to get back into it. Uh, why is it important to you to love the game and not the odds? Um, I kind of look at it from what got me into the game and that was just a love of playing as a, as a kid and you know that was totally absent of anything to do with odds or gambling. What is your love the game moment of your career? Well it's obviously pretty hard to go uh, against the 2016 grand final uh, but also the you know the prelim in 2016 was just the most insane game and the feeling of the sign going in both those games were just um, just unbelievably special and moments I'll never forget. I've almost kind of got goosebumps thinking about it now. Do you have any advice to others for how to keep up or start healthy behaviours during the lockdown? Um, for me, it's about getting into a routine and I really think if you commit to something, if you can do that consistently, you know, once, twice, three times a week, um, you know, you'll notice huge changes. How do you feel about all the sports being advertising we see today? It's frustrating for me being um, seeing it all the time, but an extension of that, for, I get concerned for kids who will grow up and, and soak all that in and, and, and think that it's just a normal part of enjoying a game. We all can't wait for sport to go back, and when it does, let's love the game, not the odds.